nobody ruins a special occasion quite like a narcissist who isn't the centre of attention. Narcissistic individuals often target special occasions to shift the attention back onto themselves and to regain control over the situation. And there's several tactics that they will use. They will create that drama. A narcissist will instigate arguments and conflicts right before the event, during the event or after the event to divert attention away from the celebration and onto the narcissist's manufactured crisis. They will pick fights over trivial matters, they will bring up past grievances or make statements that provoke some sort of emotional response from you so that they can blame you for being the one that's in the state as to why they wouldn't want to go anywhere with you. They can arrive late or leave early by arriving significantly late or abruptly leaving early. Narcissists often disrupt the flow of the occasion and make their presence or their absence the focal point. The consistent patterns of arriving late without a valid reason or they come up with some random excuse to justify their unjustified behaviour. They will make a grand entrance and expect that excessive attention or they will suddenly disappear and exit the occasion without warning. They will criticise or dismiss the event. A narcissist will go all out to undermine the significance of the occasion by criticising the preparations, the people that you're celebrating, the purpose of the event. They will make negative comments about the food, the venue, the decorations. They will make dismissive remarks about the importance of the celebration. They can make inappropriate comments or jokes. Now, genuine people are capable of cracking a joke and making an innocent remark. Some people just have that kind of humour and it's not meant to offend people. With a narcissist, they use humour to disguise their true feelings and to mock and humiliate other people. They will make offensive remarks and insults and turn them into light-hearted moments, claim that they're only joking, yet they will be highly offended if somebody makes a joke at their expense, they can't handle that form of criticism. So they have those double standards. They will make jokes that target sensitive topics. They will make comments that embarrass or humiliate someone or bring up inappropriate subjects. They will centre the attention onto themselves. Narcissists will go all out to monologue and dominate the conversations, make grandiose statements. They will overshadow the purpose of the event. They will have done far better or achieved far more. By constantly shifting the conversation back onto themselves, it, by making those dramatic announcements to overshadow what the celebration is about, or perform attention-seeking behaviours to outshine people. A narcissist will play the victim. They will use the occasion to highlight their own struggles and their own problems, seeking that sympathetic attention and diverting the focus from the celebration and onto their own issues. By bringing up their difficulties, by crying or showing exaggerated emotional distress or making comments that elicit concern and pity. They will ignore or exclude people. A narcissist may exclude key people from the event. They might ignore the guest of honour. They might create tension and feelings of rejection within those around them. They will snub certain individuals, refuse to acknowledge the achievements or the presence of others or make a point to interact with everyone except those they wish to undermine. Understanding the tactics behind a narcissist ruining a special occasion helps you to navigate a special occasion with a narcissist present. By recognising their behaviours, you can take the steps to no longer take their behaviour personally, no longer let it affect you, no longer let it affect the atmosphere and ensure that the celebrations remain joyful and focused on their intended purpose.